Just made it into London. Uh, me and Clayton have arrived at our hotel. Uh, I'm here in this room. Ah, it's quality. Can't wait. We're both very excited about DroidCon, which is starting tomorrow for two days, the Thursday and Friday. So, yeah! Let's do it. Very excited. Can't wait. Send me in. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is day one of DroidCon 2019. Uh, I've just got up and got ready, and I'm heading down for breakfast now to join Clayton, uh, and then we're gonna go get registered and get it going. So, let's see what happens. Let's have a great day. DroidCon number one. All right, we made it through the bag check. <laughs> Nobody stopped us. So. <laughs> Here we go. Let's let's see this as we go in. Oh, this is cool. Oh fuck, that's awesome. First names. First names. We got this, we're in the same lane oh, yes. for the first names. Just enjoy come. Just chilling. There's balls everywhere. <laughs> It's too much, it's too much. I'm an adult, for Christ's sake. Good morning and welcome to DroidCon. How are you all doing? Woo! Yeah, awesome, <laughs> that's what we like. Yes, welcome everybody to the, what is this, Ariel, the 11th? It is the 11th. Okay, but also a special anniversary for all of us engineering nerdy citizens of planet Earth. I have to say, uh, just to start, that I am really relieved that when you were all voting on tracks and I was the only option, I still made it into the big room. It's a little bit nervous. <laughs> They're like, oh, we're going to vote on groups. I'm like, please don't vote. Okay, so we've just seen the keynote by Christina something, uh, and it was very good. What, what, what can you remember from it? Uh, a lot of focus on like sleep and why it's important to, um, to keep up productivity through that, as well as focusing on like um, uh, dedicated time to practice something, um, achieving flow. Yeah. What was it? Um, purposeful practice yeah. is important, and she said that people aren't born experts or, or winners or whatever. Uh, they, they made it through these mental models uh, and ways of thinking about things better than just like very small individual facts, like matching them up in, with mental models to try and understand better. What else? Uh, the SDT, the self-determining theory or whatever, that talks about uh, how we get happiness through autonomy, competence, and relatedness. Yeah. Um, so that was really interesting. It's just a really good, really good thought. Yeah. And the sleep thing is terrifying. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, uh, anything else? We're going to grab a coffee and we'll head into our first actual session. That was the keynote. See you in the next one. So just me this time, Clayton was off elsewhere. Um, so I just had the um, coin from Zero to Hero talk. Um, I think his name is Arnold uh, Grialani. Um, really cool talk, uh, I can sort of summarize it very quickly, just saying it was an introduction to uh, the coin dependency injection framework, um, sort of com comparing it to like Dagger obviously, which is sort of what we use and this is widely used in the industry and just saying like how you can switch over very easily and how it has such a simple DSL and um, how their sort of benchmark times are like pretty much exactly the same as Dagger, um, if not sort of starting to creep ahead, get better than. So yeah, really, really interesting talk, really great. And I think, you know, obviously it's only sort of talk one really, but I think I'm gonna try and bring that back to shop and um, see if we can get, switch over from Dagger to Coin because it's a, yeah, it's Kotlin native. So it's, 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 it's like straight up just pure Kotlin. Um, and obviously now our code base is 100% Kotlin, so it'd be, I think it'd be really cool. So um, there's the uh, stage one in the background. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm off to next, but uh, yeah, keep it posted.
This talk is about Coroutine's flow framework which was recently introduced and the title of the talk is So the one I was in was, um, so RX observables and shit that we use, um, like instead using like coroutines and this thing called Flow, which I assume is like a, a, a library that's built into coroutines. It was pretty interesting, but it was very complicated. And then it switched to be on the MVI pattern as well. So uh, there's loads of diagrams, loads of code. Um, but yeah, it was interesting. And I guess this Flow thing is something that we can look at to sort of get rid yeah. of RX as well. Anyway, yeah, interesting. And we're, gonna, we're in a dome now. So we finished lunch. Let's clean. We're heading into what's the talk now? Um, locomotion. Locomotion. Animation. Animation. Hello everyone, I'm Mike Scammell. Welcome to my talk, do the locomotion layout. Um, so I'm guessing as Android developers, everyone's been paying attention to Android Dev Summit. So this is now classed as a deep dive um, yeah. because they announced the um, motion editor uh, with Android Studio 4.0. We just saw the loco motion layout talk. I think that was the best one yeah, so far. Yeah, um, And it was about uh, the motion layout and, of course, the announcement that happened yesterday mm -hmm. with the change to Android Studio 4 mm -hmm. or something, where they've got the uh, animation like builder with the keyframes and stuff built into the GUI, which is cool. Uh, and he was just going through all sorts of different motion layouts and recreating this thing that he saw on Dribble, which is a website yeah. I want to keep note of. Um, and uh, yeah, any, any any big standouts for you? Uh, no, I just think it was really cool. It's like cool to see animation that you can do inside the, uh, the animation. Absolutely. Yeah, it was really cool. And it just uh, got me thinking I want to make animations when I get back to work. I'm thinking maybe we can do like a, a very splash screen or something. Yeah, animation. Right, there you go. Thank you so much for coming today. My name is Connie Reynolds. This is Matt Karen. And today we're here to talk to you about animations on Android. So we're going to be talking about the about who we are. So I'm Connie, I've been working as an Android developer at Compile Market for just over two years. Thank you, Clayton. We've just watched the three different types of animation. Um, one with um, the two people from Compare the Market. It was very good. They went over um, Android framework level animations like um, uh, Value Animator and stuff like that. And then they went over Lottie, which is a, a library that you can use to take Adobe something. Adobe. After Adobe After Effects animations and translate them into a JSON file and then plug that straight into your Android project and then they talked about video. Uh, yeah, the, uh, it, it was a really interesting talk. Um, the first two are quite interesting. I think the video one isn't really applicable for us. Um, but yeah, the, the video uses they use. And they, there was a hand brakes or hand brake or something was a, was a tool he used to like compress the video down. It looked really decent afterwards. About oh, an overview of biometric authentication on Android. Uh, my name is Michael Bailey. I'm a principal engineer at American Express. I work on our mobile apps there. You can find me on Twitter, uh, at Yoga Girl. All right, very quickly, I forgot to do it before. Um, just to recap of the talk I was just in. So it was an overview of biometric authentication. Um, and the long and short version of it is that it's a bit of a mess. It's a bit all over the place. Um, the old version, which was Fingerprint Manager, sort of deprecated now, but still absolutely used and still works. Um, the middle step, which I think was Biometric Manager, um, is all right, but then it has struggles between like whether the phone's using iris or face or fingerprint scanner and stuff like that. Um, but it's supposed to do it all automatically. And then, of course, there's the Android X dot Biometric Library, which is the the one that he sort of recommended to move to. Um, there's still a bunch of checks and stuff you have to do around the irises and the face and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's really interesting. Lots of good photos from that, uh, and I think Graham will at least be happy because uh, we've got a sort of solid answer on what to move to um, away from Fingerprint Manager. Um, but yeah, it's it's 
it's still being released now, and of course it's part of Android X, so of course it's going to get a, a little bit of, of love this way. Um, heading into the lightning talks now, and then slowly toward the final um, talk of the day. So it's been a great first day. I got my coffee, yeah, um, and we're going to dive in and see these lightning talks. See you later. Without further ado, there's no gifts or um, fun things, I'm afraid, for interstitials to, to liven the, the talk and, and waste a bit of time. But my name is Darren Campbell, I'm a software developer advocate at a company called Severity. Whoever felt like after that they could learn from it and successfully avoid it, never happening again. Yeah. Uh, we just had two lightning talks. I'll tell you about my individual one first. It was an intent-based API system, and it was actually quite an interesting one. Um, basically, create, uh, creating like an application or something that sits on the phone that has uh, like intents that you can hit with like different classes, and, uh, and like he, I think he used a joke service or something, and then everything could just uh, you know with different sort of hacks and whatever could call that uh, intent. Uh, from different things like Chrome or from like a Xamarin app or from a Kotlin app, whatever it was, it was that was quite interesting. Um, and the one now we've just seen together was uh, from Badu. Yep. And it was about what? Uh, modules, so um, self-contained bits of code that can be moved anywhere else in the apps that they have. Yeah. He was saying about like don't think of things in terms of screens. Think mm -hmm. of things in terms of. Uh, like yeah, as Clay was saying, these reusable module bits that have like one entrance point, uh, they're all built in a very similar way, um, and then yeah, there's like this tree structure mm -hmm. that uh, uh, they, they just deal with their dependencies of the child, and that's about it. Um, yeah, I think that was it. That was awesome. And we're going into now the final keynote of the day, and then the party. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's good. And uh, yeah. Round of applause to Stacey Davina, who will be doing the final keynote on day one. Thank you, Stacey. Hey y'all, how you doing? Doing pretty good. Southern United States, so I'm going to say some things that are going to sound like how do y'all. So how do y'all? <laughs> so, the keynote's just finished. We've all got drinks and the party's happening, as you can see behind me. Uh, let's just recap what the, the final keynote was by Stacy Davino. Um, it was awesome. It was really good. It was like, um, get happy, get known, and get paid. And it was like a three-step process for being the best sort of developer or social, uh, sorry, software engineer that you can be. Um, and it was just real sort of good, obvious points. Um, you know, get happy, and um, you know, doing things that make you actually happy and. Um, in environments and situations that make you happy, uh, get known, social media, your own personal brand, which I thought was really interesting, obviously, because of this channel, and um, and the get paid, and it was about like negotiating your salary, find out what you're worth, what your value is, what makes you different, what makes you unique. It was just really good. It was a really nice way to end the day. So now it's party time. As you can see, the uh, London Design Center, Business Design Center, sorry, uh, behind me uh, is filled with the attendees of conference and getting some drinks, we've got some free and then some cupcakes and uh, possibly some food. Um, myself and Clayton are going to hang out a little bit, uh, have a couple of drinks and probably go for dinner somewhere I guess, I don't know. Anyway, I'll wait for Clayton and we'll, we'll, we'll close off day one together, but yeah, see you in a bit. Ben and Clayton here closing out day one, month. see you tomorrow. Ciao. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, it is day two of DroidCon, uh, I'm just packing up the hotel room and I'm going to go check out in a second um, and head to the final day of DroidCon um, London UK um, 2019. I'm heading out of my hotel room now to meet Clayton for breakfast um, and to get this day going, so see you at the expo. Thank 
get everybody awake, I need everybody to stand up. Oh, here we go. Oh, this one oh, this is one of the... Right. All right. Okay. Now, if this is the first time you've ever been to Droidcon, sit down. Oh. Second time, sit down. Yeah. Welcome to the Droidcon stage, talking about using IoT to build an accessible guitar, a massive hand, Joe Birch. Well, thanks for being here. Um, it's a real pleasure to be up here. I've been to Droidcon London many a times, and yeah, it's really great to see so many faces, especially on a Friday morning. Um, I remember what the Thursdays used to get like. And Right, so we've just finished the first keynote for day two. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it about? It was great. It was about uh, making things accessible. So the guy built a guitar, a guitar that could was accessible for blind, deaf, and mute people. Yeah, right. It's an incredible system. Just like it's got a braille reader built into it. It's got like a microphone input, a Raspberry Pi in the back of it, obviously, which I'm a big fan of. But yeah, the the guy's fantastic, Joe Birch, I think it was, yep. and uh, yeah, he's just all about uh, accessibility, uh, using his own stories to sort of, uh, you know, highlight that and why it's important. And yeah, just a really good, really yeah. good one. Yeah, really yeah. Good. Anything else? Okay. Or? No. All right, sweet. See you in the next one. Participate in the workshop part. Here is the link. Kotlin Kotlin's workshop on my GitHub. Beautiful uh, origin master and. Hello all, so uh, just me. Um, I was supposed to be doing the Kotlin's Coroutines uh, tutorial session for two hours. I've just done the first hour um, and it's like a break now. Um, yes, it's, it's interesting, it's okay. Um, obviously there's some technical issues. The network here isn't super and everybody was trying to get on and use like the Gradle wrapper and download a Gradle instance, so it slowed everything down. Um, and then obviously because he's got a short amount of time he had to just you know he had to just get his content out there so it was a mixture of sort of looking at the screen and looking at the machine and trying to get it all work um, but yeah no interesting stuff started with like um, looking at sequences and sort of how that is uh, sort of the idea behind uh, you know sort of the teaching of coroutines um, and then started to go into like real basic coroutines it's quite nice actually um, like just printing something out suspending something and then he went deeper into what code is generated for that code routine for that code routine which is really fascinating and seeing sort of the code that is generated from that it makes a lot of sense and how there's this like label system of when there's like a delay it like attaches a label and like a, it suspends there and then when it comes back into it and then triggers again it just picks up from that label and it's like a bunch of if statements that's saying is the label this is the label this is the label this and running the running the code in there from that so it's quite interesting but it's great to be here in London. Uh, this talk is called The Light Way. My name is Lisa Ray, and I'm an Android engineer on the Messenger Light team, currently at Facebook. Uh, and this light will be about making a small app, even one that has a big impact. It's about how we try to be small and fast and simple, even at Facebook scale. Hi there guys, uh, so you'll notice this isn't Clayton, this is a good friend Ed George, uh, Ed George right? Yes, that's yeah, cool. me. Uh, that I met at the, uh, from Twitter at this place, uh, you work at where? I work for a company called Hi Mum Said Dad, uh, we're a digital agency that do all sorts of apps, um, loads of cool Android stuff, so definitely check us out. Very cool, we'll put a little like a little tag here on the screen somewhere for, for like your Twitter and stuff, if that's right. Awesome, thank you. Um, so what did we just see? Uh, so we went to see Lisa Ray's talk um, called uh, The Light Way, um, and it was all about her sort of experience at Facebook and how they create a uh, Messenger Lite, which is their sort of smaller um, packaged version of the uh, Facebook Messenger app that pretty much I imagine everybody has on their phone. Um, it was really interesting, wasn't it? It's about how, um, how the app is sort of compressed and they've got a really interesting way of uh, rendering UI. Yeah, the database first approach, which is really kind of squiggly in my brain to start off with, but the, the fact is that they do all the transforming still on the server side of the data. Is that Clayton? Oh, There's uh, a sneaky Clayton oh, there. there he is. Popping in. <laughs> We're just doing the, the debrief. Um, so they, they take the data and they transform it on the server side and then they pass it straight to the app and they just jam it in the database, sort of ready to render so that the app just takes it from the database and can just like slap it on the screen. She sort of made the analogy that their light app is just a uh, rendering engine, essentially. Which is insane. Which I, is insane. I, I've never seen that done before, so yeah. that was really, really interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. Anything else? No, all the just we're having a great time. Really nice to meet you. Yeah, and um, you, man. Thanks.
Let's get one of these on camera. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Awesome, dude. Anyway, see you in a bit. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Lunch. That is all. So the next show is Chet and Roman doing a comedy thing, so it's packed. <laughs> 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 So, what they didn't say was you should land early in the morning and then go to a conference and give two talks in the afternoon. I supported it to me. And third of all, I'd like you to take a look at the quality of this certificate. <laughs> <laughs> We've just seen the um, the the chat and um, remain guys. Remain guys comedy. comedy. Um, it was really good. Thing. Yeah, it was really it good. It was really funny. It was fun. They were they were quality. It was real people. ironic. It was like it was great. It, it was good. It was really good. I mean, it's there's not a lot to talk about because it was just a bit of a take one. Are we yeah. going the wrong way? No, no, we're going. Um, <laughs> and um, but yeah, they they played the role of like quality people and talked about basically if you write books, uh, write code, you write books. You write books. And you'll you'll stop. Don't need it. Yeah. So well, there you go. Get so rid that's of developers. It. Get rid of no developers. More books. Just managers. It's just that easy. That's it. That's it. I'm sure we're going the wrong way. Anyway, that's that. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. It's about learning Ruby to do very complex stuff with Gradle. And if you think about it, I would say that when it comes to Android, I was more interested in other things like UI. I went to see um, the Kotlin DSL, so like changing all of the Gradle um, files that you got from Groovy to be Kotlin um, DSL instead. It was alright. Um, halfway through I was like, oh we definitely need to do this, and then she was like, oh yeah, there's a load of catches and gotchas and stuff. It's like, the, the initial build's like three times longer, <laughs> and we don't need any of that. Um, and then, but after that it seems to level out, but then um, there's stuff like, you know, like the automatic versioning, syntax highlighting in, in the Gradle scripts where you can right click and it'll say, oh, it's like, it's like an outdated version using, here, just click this button to, that that goes away, and there's a lot of like nice Cody stuff you can do, but it's sort of unnecessary. Meh, interesting talk, so. I would like to introduce myself and what this session is about. My name is Damien, I'm from Berlin, and I'm an Android engineer. I'm working in the Android team at OneFootball. OneFootball is a football news application that is used by millions every day. So we've just been to the... Uh, Clayton's down there doing a shoelace. We've been to the navigation with deep linking one. Um, yeah, really, uh, really, really interesting. Um, basically showed the different ways of navigations, like just straight up firing activity intents. I'll just keep you in the frame, by the way. Um, and then the um, the method that we're using now, obviously, which is the Android X um, uh, component library for navigation, and then talked about like deep linking as sort of uh, ways of making that happen with like yeah. modularization, how you can slice up your app. Uh, Big round of applause. Chet has and remain key. And the audience says, whoa, 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 didn't these guys do something earlier? We've had enough of them. Thank you. A thank you to you. Okay, so. Finally, we've just seen the keynote uh, as we're sort of leaving the building. It was uh, Chet and Roman as well, fantastic speakers, obviously, and they're obviously from the Android team at Google. And uh, they gave a bunch of updates about what they're doing uh, and what they have done in the past sort of OS versions from M to Q about user improvements and also developer improvements. Um, what else did they cover? Um, they showed uh, Compose. A really oh, good demo. Yeah. Compose. Yeah, they, they ran out of time, so it was really fast at the end, but there was, a, there was an actual demo of Jetpack Compose and actually been quite skeptical. Really but yeah, yeah, that was that was quality, quality I, stuff. I saw the Compose talk earlier on and it, it looked a bit like, it just looked like a lot of code that you had to do to get on out of it. Right. I mean, showing that, geez, you should have oh, so You should have, yeah, you should start with that stuff. But yeah, it was um, it was fantastic. So um, I'm just going to pull over quickly uh, next to this cow. Um, there's the one last bit, yeah, because the, the IDE 
um, Andrew Studio changes as well, yeah. composed that made the previews like oh, the instant. Previews were insane. Amazing, yeah. Yeah, that was great. Anyway, that's it. Uh, we'll sign off from Joycon uh, 2019, and we'll see you next year, hopefully. Peace. See you. matter what we're saying because there's not going to be any audio with this bit. We're going to just wander down the street. Yeah. Clayton, what's what software was that? Clayton, what? This is, Clayton, what? This is, this is mono developer. Clayton, what? Is that Eclipse, Clayton? Yeah. So we had the lightning talks and then we had... Um... So we've just watched the... Uh... The market. <laughs> so we've just seen the... <laughs> Can't do it.